President Abdel Fattah Sisi wrapped up a one-day visit to Uganda during which he met with President Yuri Museveni for talks on boosting cooperation between the two countries and among Nile Basin countries. During the talks, the two leaders agreed on activating the Joint Committee as soon as possible to increase bilateral economic cooperation. We have details in this report. Sisi made a one-day visit to Uganda on Sunday, during which he met with President Yuri Museveni. The summit talks tackled a number of files. After the talks, the two leaders held a joint press conference. Sisi tackled different challenges facing both nations, including terrorism and development aspirations. The president highlighted in his statements the depth of bilateral strategic relations between both countries and the importance of boosting them in different fields, particularly in the energy and water resources sectors. For his part, Museveni praised historical relations between both countries and the work done by Egyptian companies in his country, noting that both leaders have agreed to activate the Joint Committee as soon as possible to increase bilateral economic cooperation. He stressed on the importance of boosting dialogue and cooperation among the Nile Basin countries, adding that he intends to work on achieving such an aim during his presiding period to the Nile Basin Initiative. Also during the talks, the two leaders discussed means of boosting joint investments and increasing the number of Egyptian companies in Uganda. The president also reiterated that Egypt will continue to lend technical support to Uganda as part of Egypt's initiative for development in the Nile Basin countries and through the Egyptian Agency for Partnership for Development. And the border security forces announced Monday that they managed to foil an illegal migration attempt. The statement said that 268 people were trying to migrate illegally in the areas of Saloum, Bahr al Rimal, Shalatin, Alaqi, and Awainat. The statement said that the third field army also arrested a militant in Ahmed Hamdi tunnel. Large amounts of drugs were also seized in different trades in Suez area. And Egyptian and Bahraini special forces are taking part in joint exercises that are dubbed Khalid ibn al-Walid that run until December the 30th. The special forces personnel had arrived in Aisa Air Base in Bahrain for the joint exercises. The exercises come within the framework of bilateral military ties between the two countries. The exercises include training on terrorism, combating operations, hostage rescue, and traditional and untraditional shooting skills. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri met on Monday with a visiting delegation from the American Jewish Committee. The talks covered Egyptian-American relations, especially under the new U.S. administration that takes office next month. During the meeting, Shukri reviewed with the delegation the outcome of his latest visit to the United States. The talks also covered the new U.S. vision for dealing with crises in the region. The spokesman for the foreign ministry said that the talks covered Egypt's vision for pushing forward the Palestinian-Israeli peace process and efforts to encourage the two parties to take steps towards reaching a final settlement for the conflict. The talks also covered Egypt's stance on regional issues, especially the situation in, in Libya, in Iraq, Syria and Yemen, as well as the war on terrorism. Minister of International Cooperation Dr. Sahar Nasser met with the European Union's envoy to Egypt, Renald Brenda, in preparation for the upcoming visit by the Vice European Commission Chief and the EU Foreign Policy Chief Federica Mogherini to Egypt. Nasser said that the expectations were high for the visit as the EU is seen as a key active development partner. She added that Egypt has always enjoyed unique ties with the bloc. The minister pointed out to the importance of the EU's support for small and medium-sized enterprises in Egypt that generate work opportunities for the youth as well as women. Upon directives from President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, Egypt has opened the Rafah border crossing with the Palestinian Gaza Strip for three days as of, as of Saturday. Opening the border crossing will allow humanitarian cases, students and stranded people on both sides to cross and also facilitate entry of humanitarian aid into the enclave. 